Broderick, uh, what were some of the notes that, that you had uh, from your coaches after your first preseason game? Um, control the controllables really was the main focus. You know, um, no matter what happens, you know, you may mess up one play. Um, things may not go your way. Just always continue on to the next play and you know, continue to be better. How did you feel? They left you in for a while. You played with yeah. almost every team. How did you feel your play kind of lasted throughout all that time? I actually feel like I played pretty well uh, for the most part. You know, a couple of plays I wish I had back, but for the most part, I, I feel like I performed well. One thing that I, I, you know, I was always wondering was like, how is he going to do against speed rushers out here? And you went up against Nick Herbig a few again times today and looked pretty good in that. How are you improving and dealing with different types of pass rushers? Speed really never was my issue. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I love going against Nick just because that's my roommate. You know, we sit down. At the end of the night, watch our little clips. If we go against each other, we always, you know, just talk and smack to each other. So, you know, it's a good rivalry between us. Um, love him to death. I love the way he plays. Um, he plays with passion. So, every time I get to go up against him, you know, it's always good battle. So. Did he call for that? Did he want? A little bit. It's a little bit of both. Um, it, go, it goes hand in hand both ways. So. What, what do you feel? Could you find anything that you learned when you're out there because of having to go against him that maybe helped you on? Friday night? Not necessarily so much of going up against him, but probably I would say Marcus, just because me and Marcus used to, like when Marcus first got here, we always used to work together so much. Um, I feel like he prepared me a lot um, since, you know, the beginning of camp. So, you know, it's always just a good matchup between us. You know, I love to be able to go up against a vet like that. Um, you know, I'm going to give him work. He's going to give me work at the end of the day, and we're trying to get better. Have the coaches said they're going to do anything different or ask more of you in the second week leading into the second preseason game? I really don't know. You know, um, we're still trying to wrap up the game um, from last week. Mm -hmm. So we really haven't talked too much about you know, next week or what's going to happen. So, um, you know, just trying to get back in the lab, continue to get better, uh, fix a little uh, technique errors, fix a little mental errors, um, and be better next week. You obviously have a lot of uh, fans out here. How excited are you to get in front of the home crowd on Saturday night? Man, it's fun. You know, just seeing the fans, see how many fans come out here just to watch us practice. You know, I'm just excited to see what game day's going to look like. Are you ever amazed some of the things they ask you to sign? Like you signed a crutch, <laughs> <and> shoes. <laughs> I don't judge nobody, you know. So. <laughs> Um, I just try and be there for the fans because, you know, they, they came out and supported me. Um, so, you know, I just try and give them a little bit of time after practice each and every day, you know, just to get back to them. You learn how to play tackle at the NFL level this camp. What, what do I, you know, the guy in your room, Spencer, learning three, four positions Man, at this level? What's, I know what's, it's tough, but, you know, um, that's going to take him a long way in the long run because, you know, just being a utility player like that, you know, it's, it's not too many in the league. So, just being able to bounce around on the line of scrimmage like that is huge. You know, it's a big asset, so it's going to be good for him. Cool. Thanks, Broderick. Thank you.